environmental, social governance considerations continue to garner global attention across various industries, including financial services sector. Financial institutions occupy a pivotal position in addressing ESG risks because they direct capital towards transformative investments and projects that are sustainable and bring about inclusivity. We have a framework, we came together to collaborate and it's very important. It's not all competition all the time. At times as an industry, for the common good, for the benefit of a Ugandan, at times we have to come together and collaborate. Banks need to come together to appreciate the fact that we are tier one banks. Tier one banks need to have a framework specific for tier one banks on how they are going to handle all the three E, S and G. Tier two banks the same, the telcos the same. And at the same spirit, you need to see how to cascade this information to your customers. For example, as MDP, we do eco-friendly debit cards and credit cards. So if you give your customer a plastic, a card, then ask yourself, how am I contributing towards ESG? The As the regulatory landscape rapidly evolves to support the accelerated shift towards a sustainable future, the call for collaboration among Uganda's financial industry has been made. Time, in a way, is not on our side, and therefore we need to accelerate and become more agile as we, as we do this. The impacts on our customers, the impact on our different stakeholders, the impacts on our, on our products and services, uh, and the impacts on the relationships that we create uh, continue to be very important. When you look at the social vertical, which is very important, so if you have a strategy, let's say executive committee, and in that st strategy it's only men, and you don't have women, and you don't have minorities, uh, let's say, or a diversity included in that, then you are in, uh, you're not getting the full picture. Yeah? You have to get the full picture by hearing these voices. Right? and then designing your strategy which is sustainable. Ramadan Gobi, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Finance, says a number of frameworks are in the pipeline aimed at mitigating ESG challenges in Uganda. According to various speakers at the annual Bankers Conference, embracing ESG is more than a regulatory requirement, but a strategic move towards enduring sustainability and resilience in a dynamic business environment. Climate change has become a key point in major discussions, both locally and globally. The same applies to the just concluded annual bankers conference in Kampala, where issues of environmental, social and governance took center stage. I am Mariana Wari for UBC.